at the historic African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas in the city of Philadelphia. We welcome you to our worship this morning on this being the sixth Sunday of Easter, also Mother's Day. And let me at this time wish all of our beautiful, wonderful mothers out there a wonderful, happy Mother's Day. We are so blessed this morning to have St. Thomas, oldest member, 108 years old. She is not only the oldest member, she's the oldest mother of our church. And let us just hear now a word, a blessing from Ruth Hobson. Good morning, Ruth Hobson. Good morning, Good morning, Father Shaw. Good morning, Father Shaw. God bless you, Father. Yes, yes. On behalf of your church family, the African Episcopal Church of St. Thomas, on this Mother's Day 2021, it is my pleasure and joy and honor to present you with these Mother's Day flowers. Thank you very much, God bless everybody. Happy Happy beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. They're beautiful, aren't they, Bob? <laughs> now, Ruth, you are St. Thomas' oldest mother, 108 years old. Wonderful. Yes, it is wonderful. <laughs> is there is there anything you want to say? to other mothers out there. Be good, God bless them all. God bless them all. Thank you, thank you. And we're sitting here with her lovely daughters, um, Ruth and Carla, as we celebrate Mother's Day, um, Ruth and Merle. I'm sorry, Ru Ruth, Merle, and Carla. Um, is there anything, Ruth, yes, you want to say again? Thank you, God bless everybody. Thank you and God bless everyone. Thank you. Merle, is there anything you would like to say to mothers or anything about your mom? Yes, I would. And I just want to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. And I know how important you are to your families as our mother has always been to us. She's always been wonderful, a selfless person. She has brought us joy and happiness our whole life long. She's our family treasure. She really taught us everything uh, we know about being good Christians and good people. So we owe her so very much. We appreciate her and love her. And uh, I know she's gonna have a happy Mother's Day because she is being wished so much love by her, her church family and uh, all of her friends. So thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all. Thank you, Merle. Carla, would you like to add anything? Uh, not much. I'd just like to say Happy Mother's Day to everyone and to the young people I would like to say, appreciate and love your mother because as you get older, you will learn that your mother is the foundation and the rock of the family. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. God bless you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you so much, Thank you. Carla and Merle. You are truly examples of what it means to be good siblings and daughters um, of a mother. You have truly been good. You have taken care of your mom over the years, and you continue to care for her and love her. And we, we just want to thank you for all that you do as well. Thank you, Thank you, Father yes. Shaw. I yes. tell you, it's really, yes, it's an honor to take care of her. Yes. We love her so much. Well, Ruth, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and upon your wonderful daughters here, Merle and Carla, this day and forever. Amen. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Ruth. And may God continue to bless you 
May God continue to bless you also, Merle, and you also, Carla, her two daughters, who are her caregivers and her, and her um, um, daughters who love her and care for her day in and day out. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all earth be silent. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah! Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you, no secrets are hid. Cleanse the faults of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly Father, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of God, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. We receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, we obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 the book of Acts chapter 10. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 98. I sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and with his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord. All you lands, lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
it is now and will be forever. commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me but I chose you, and I appoint you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. wishing all the mothers 
grandmothers, godmothers, aunties, and the many women of St. Thomas who have all showed me motherly affection over the years. I stand here today as a child of God from my own mother, Pamela C. Johnson, and my mama, Edith B. Jones, who were both brought up in St. Thomas Church. It is because of my mama, though, that I stand here today with no notes, with strength, courage, and confidence. I see her in her favorite seat in this church, smiling at me, and I wish her a very happy Heavenly Mother's Day. When I thought about the theme, legacies of faith, hope, and love, I wanted to say, wait, you got the wrong person. But as I reflected and thought about it, Father Shaw got the right person. All three have played a major role in my life, especially during the pandemic. But I must start where, where my journey started, September 8th, 2019. A glorious day it was. But that Saturday before, it was like God gave me a calling. My due date wasn't until another week. Actually, I predicted that my baby girl, who we didn't know if it was gonna be a boy or a girl, would have come on my father's birthday. But God gave me a calling to get ready and to get prepared. That Saturday, I woke up a little bit anxious, I'll be honest, and I told my husband, it's time to head to the AT&T store. You have to have a working phone. Heaven forbid our child comes very, very soon. So we took care of that and then I remember going to Target and I was so ready to be the best mom. Everything had to be set and settled. So that meant for us that I needed a arsenal of diapers. Target had a sale that Saturday. Buy 100, get a $20 gift card. And if you're a bargain shopper like I am, you're gonna make the most of that deal. My stomach was so heavy that I actually remember being in my electric cart, driving through every aisle. And they said, well, there's only one offer per home. That's okay. How about we just go to every Target in our area? And that's what we did. I remember midday, my husband said, if this is going to be our last meal together, where would you like to eat? I thought long and hard. That was actually probably the toughest question I had during my whole motherhood journey. I like to eat, so I said, if this were gonna be our last meal as a table for two, where should we go? I remembered that Outback Steakhouse, right by our house, had this awesome deal that I really enjoyed at the time. It was get a steak meal, you get unlimited shrimp. And so I had a plan. I was gonna go there, get that steak meal. It was going to be scrumptious, but I was gonna stack up on all the shrimp because I didn't wanna cook days afterwards. So I got there, I took a bite of my steak, and I kept on telling the waiter, just bring us more and more shrimp. I had loads leaving that restaurant loads and i knew that was going to be a great sunday us eating our unlimited shrimp and spending time with our child but that night god had another plan oh boy and this is where faith comes in as i walked up the stairs to my bedroom I remember telling my husband, you know, my, hus my, my stomach feels really, really heavy. And he said, you always say that. But God did not prove us wrong. And another hour and maybe some change, I woke up and I had the joy of saying the infamous words. My water broke. Everything went into full speed at that point. I remember almost feeling like 
wow, I might be able to take a nap at the hospital. I might be able to get some rest and even take a shower once I get to the hospital. But boy, did faith have to kick in. I remember so many moms who have been through this same journey and path. They told me, Ashley, don't have a plan when it comes to God. They were right. The only plan I thought I had was maybe having that luxury of an epidural. But God knew that I would lean on faith and I had to. By the time we got to the hospital, she was there 30 minutes later. A beautiful baby girl. But I remember saying, no, 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 this was not my plan, God. This wasn't my plan. My plan was to be a little bit more relaxed and to have that pain medication that most mothers do take part in. But he said, no, you come from a strong lineage, a strong lineage of women from the South Alabama who knew I could handle natural childbirth. And so I did. And I remember that first feeling, that feeling of so much joy. When I heard the words, first of all, it's a girl. Anyone who knows me might say, I may have been secretly wishing for a girl, but I drew on faith. I was willing, I was so happy to be a mother. I wanted a healthy child and boy or girl, we just wanted a healthy child. But as my husband drew my baby girl up to me, I knew that it was nothing but faith. And so that is where faith came in. But then let's fast forward, just not too fast forward, just a, uh, an hour after she was born, my parents showed up with the greatest joy. They just wanted to see their grandchild. And guess who walked through the door? Not too long after, Father Shaw. We didn't even have a name picked out, but he held his hand over us and he prayed on us and he prayed hard. And I knew that I was bringing a child of God into faith. And till this day, it makes me emotional. Now being on the motherhood journey for a little over a year and a half, faith has kept me strong. It wasn't easy being a mom during the pandemic. It wasn't easy being a mother who lost two very close grandparents during a very challenging time. But I thank God, I thank God that my daughter was graced by meeting three of her great grandparents. And I have the pictures and the memories to share with her going forward. Especially my mom, who many of you know, she was so happy. She was so excited. She hugged the baby. And the baby, my baby girl, Amelia, named Hebrew work of the Lord, just fell asleep in her arms. There's something about that motherly comfort that we all enjoy and we all know is so real and keeps us going. My baby many times had the joy of falling asleep and her mom mom's arms. And my mom, who was there by my side, and I thank God for also, as we, we think about Mother's Day, I thank God for being raised in a two-parent household and being able to raise my child in a household where there's a very loving mother, but an equally loving father. And that's something I just don't take for granted. As we go on to the 
the legacies of hope. This is where I just take a moment to think about my foundation, to think about growing up in a household where there were very, very strong women. My mother, my mama, my grandmother in Cleveland. And I thank God for that combination where I gained something from all three of them. My mother, I don't even know where to start. She's my biggest advocate. And quite frankly, she's sitting here listening to me now because I need her strength and her courage to speak today. My mother has always been by my side. Man, I wasn't always the healthiest child. <laughs> Um, I was a vivacious child. I loved dance. I always had a lot of ambitions. And through it all, my mother was by my side. My mama, man, she was the educator. But she was just also that person where you could just sit on the couch, relax, let your hair down. You could just talk about anything and everything. And it was that love that through the years keeps me going till this day. She is the embodiment of love and what it means to be a mother, to put sacrifice into your relationship with your child. I remember when I, my mom picked me up from school, I could get whatever I want. That's what I could. But I was gonna learn a thing or two. She may have bought me Rita's water ice, some donuts, maybe a lobster tail and filet mignon because she always went to fancy restaurants. But she just embodied love. She never yelled even if I did something wrong. And through that, that's what taught me that when I did something wrong, it was wrong. Because it was just that look and that feeling that I knew I wasn't on the right path. When I think about my grandmother, she's the sassy one, the one in Cleveland. And many of you have also seen her here at St. Thomas through our many baptisms and communions and all our major milestones and Easter's, all of that. My grandmother taught me that no is quite frankly, never an answer and to always keep pushing and going. And that is what makes me able to, quite frankly, do the news in a very harsh world. Because she always said, keep going, keep moving. And if they tell you no, okay, there's another answer, but you'll get your answer in the end. I stand behind a strong lineage of faithful, devout women. And I come before you still as a humble person asking all of you in this sanctuary, even though we're not here present right now, we will be very soon for your love, your courage, support, and faith. I know that is how I will be a awesome mother. And I want my daughter to know as I grew up, that it's not just a one person foundation, it's a village. It is a village. So I thank all of you today for being a part of that village. I have some, uh, if you don't mind, I'll share a few uh, stories. I think about when I was going back to work and that was faith, that was a lot of faith. Um, during my pregnancy, for the most part, I did not work. And I had faith that God would give me a good job and the right job. And quite frankly, I didn't know if I would be back in TV, but God did. And I think about the women who I shared. My daughter does not want to go into that crib. And they prayed for me. And they said, Ashley, give it a week. And sure enough, all it was was a week. And I had a sound baby in her crib and I knew she would be covered through faith. Thank you for allowing me to share my motherhood journey. 
Thank you for being a part of my motherhood journey. I love you all, God bless you all, and happy Mother's Day. Let me take this opportunity to give thanks to our own Ashley Williams for that wonderful Mother's Day message to us this morning. As most of you know, Ashley um, grew up here at St. Thomas and has remained a very active member of our parish. And we give thanks this morning for her wonderful words that she has shared with us. Let us now reaffirm our faith by saying together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the God is not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and the Holy Church. For our sake, he was crucified on the Father. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom is not at our hand. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in the one holy Catholic and the Catholic of the Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We do look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people, Form 3. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. And that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. And that life perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Continue to pray for those who are incarcerated, those who are hospitalized, those who are preparing for surgical and medical procedures, those in our parish who are infirm, homebound, Lord Jesus Christ, hear the prayers of your people, and what we have asked faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectively to the glory of your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, 
We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may be loved in the world and walk in your grace. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. My sisters and my brothers, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And I also with you. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us in offering and sacrifice to God.
this holy sacrifice is offered to the glory of Almighty God. Special thanksgiving this morning to all of our mothers. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rise into life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of our life, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take ye, this is my body which is shed for you. and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Calling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also. We may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy name is in thee, and in the power. Hallelujah! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us the peace. Hallelujah. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and tenderness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Again, let me take this opportunity to thank all of you who have joined us this morning for worship. I want to especially thank our, all of our participants, our wonderful singers, our wonderful musicians, our wonderful vergers, our wonderful Father Jay, and also want to thank our readers this morning um, who led our prayers of the people, Victoria Rivers, and also Lee Ann Trotman, who did the first reading and the song. Thank all of you so much for everything. <laughs> Extra uh, kudos to our wonderful soloist, Alexandra. Thank you, Alexandra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Member of our Chancel Choir. Just a few brief announcements. Um, tomorrow, Monday, uh, St. Thomas will once again host our St. Thomas COVID 19 vaccination um, um, site clinic. If you have not been vaccinated yet, I urge you, I plead with you. Please take this opportunity to get vaccinated. You may call the church office first thing in the morning to register and the secretary, the administrative assistant, I'm sorry, not the secretary, the administrative assistant will give you directions as to when you are to come in that day to receive your vaccination here at St. Thomas. Once again, we issue the call to Christian discipleship. We continue to grow and members joining our church family from all over the country. We're very grateful to those of you who have joined our church family. And if you're watching this morning and you don't have a church home, you want a closer walk, closer relationship with Jesus Christ, we invite you to consider St. Thomas Church, your home church. Call us this week, write us, send us an email expressing your desire. Continue to send in your contributions and donations, please. That helps us to continue to thrive and be a vibrant, the vibrant church that we have remained this past year during COVID-19. Thank you again, Ashley Williams, for that magnificent message of Mother's Day that you share with us this morning. We give thanks to God and we pray God's continued blessing upon you and your family this day and forever. And now if you are celebrating a birthday this week, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. If you are celebrating a wedding anniversary this week, may the Lord bless you, and may the Lord keep you. And if you are celebrating while you're traveling, traveling this week somewhere, may the Lord protect you from all hurt, all harm, and all danger, and bring you to safety to your journey's end. Now may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon all of you and remain with you this day and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed Mother's Day again to all our mothers, especially our oldest member of St. Thomas, Ruth Hobson, 108 years old. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.